On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Monday afternoon to each and every person out there tuning into on the Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So this afternoon's vlog, my peeps, is based on a continuation of this morning's vlog where we covered the happenings surrounding the Kingston Western Police Division, namely Denham Town, Tivoli Gardens and sections of the Spanglers area. Now we are going to cover the knockings and clappings that took place over there in the Kingston Western Police Division but this time concentrating on the Lincoln Avenue, Lincoln Crescent, Lincoln Road area. So detectives attached to the Kingston Western Police Division is presently investigating a series of knockings and clappings in the Lincoln Crescent era yesterday evening that took the life of this man presently on your screen. He has since been identified as 19-year-old Shaheem Williams, otherwise called Shaz, in the streets. He's from a Lincoln Crescent address. And the injured man is said to be his relative, a cousin of his, who is 28 years of age, presently nursing carnop carnop wounds in the Kingston Public Hospital. So the official police report surrounding that knockings and clappings suggests that sometime around 2.30 p.m., Shaz Shaheem Williams and the other man that was injured was among other persons in a yard when they were pounced upon by criminal elements who were heavily armed with not just handguns but also rifles. It is said that, that the gunmen opened fire hitting both men. They were both assisted by residents to the hospital where Shaheem Williams was pronounced you know what and the other man admitted in serious condition the police are saying that they don't have a motive for that brutal onslaught well on the spot news media i got given you a full rundown as to what really a take place and three names came to mind no one of the first names is a really popular and infamous criminal element presently behind bars he's known as lucas and why this character is rather interesting because his crime wave his violence prone behavior is not just concentrated along lincoln avenue in the kingston western police division but also over there in the Bayshore Park community of Harborview. So this one mania a wreak havoc in two separate police divisions, Kingston West and also the Kingston Eastern Police Division. This criminal element on your screen is also the son of the now deceased reputed gang leader for Lincoln Avenue a man known as Marlon Brando, once friend with the gang leader for the Bird Nation gang, Aaron Thompson, otherwise known as Birdie, but became arch rivals and Birdie placed a hit on his head and took him out of the game. Now his son is definitely walking in his footsteps and raking havoc among we the regular members of Chan Public. Yeah man. So so the father, so the son, Papa was a corner boy, see him saying come. Now the next man that came to mind is this criminal element presently on your screen. A man known as Dalabas. Also wanted 
by the Kingston Western Police Division. This criminal element has been named as a knockis and clappis in several knockings and clappings that took the life of men in the general Lincoln Road, Lincoln Avenue, Black Roses, Crew Corner. They saw. So this brother is definitely one that is raking havoc in that particular space. Now the next man, I don't have a picture for him because he's serving a 12-year sentence in the general penitentiary. But these vlogs presently on your screen, previous vlogs that I've done, you would definitely want to watch these vlogs to know the personality of the man known as Travis, a.k.a. Badat. The man that on the spot news media has labeled the devil's son, the devil's advocate. No, this man is staying from behind bars and literally instigating the lives of the regular members of Chan Public in that immediate space because of the fear factor Whatever he orders to be done to his criminal goons, they carry out those wicked and brutal acts. And yesterday, those two men were the recipient of such an act. Now, the 19-year-old man, Shaheem Williams, is definitely proven to be an innocent man. That man is definitely not a criminal element in the Lincoln Avenue, Lincoln Crescent, Lincoln Alley, the general Lincoln area. That man is an innocent bystander. And it is really unfortunate for two members of the same family to end up get caught up for something where them don't know about. We just hope that the other man who is in the hospital can pull through because it would be sad if he passed also. John no star me, I tell you. Out of John shop there. Rough. Now you have a criminal element, Rona Roses. The so-called strongman writer now, Rona Roses. Now this brother here, a link with Travis. A youth known as Pepper boy, <laughs> yeah man, a known criminal element, definitely no stranger at all to the police. Now according to what on the spot news media has received, he is one of the main causes for that knockings and clappings as the criminal elements who are said to be aligned to a certain faction was sent to take him out. But because he was not present when the criminal elements them roll up. Hence the reason why those two innocent bystanders end up get can up. Now you are guilty not only by association but guilty because of where you live. Because of where you hang out, where you reside whatsoever. And that is really unfair. Now you see the bondage that criminal elements are holding us at. We are literal hostages in our communities. And yesterday just proves say you literally not have to in a nothing to end up lose a life by the gun. So gone are the days when them say live by the gun, you die by the gun. Many has lost their lives by the gun. Who definitely did not live by it. So condolences to the mother, Carolee, and also to the bereaved family members for the loss of their loved one. A rather unfortunate situation indeed. So I do encourage you, the regular members of Chan Public living in that immediate space, to inform the police of any irregularities in your communities give up these criminal elements whether or not you are related to or you're in a relationship with them because they are going to be the ones that will lead to your demise or to another innocent 
family member. So now my peeps, still in the Kingston Western Police Division, show us, may I tell you, the man they make it fall literal like rain last night. A series of knockings and clappings between Sunlight Street and Zim and also another community that goes by the name of Angola. Yeah man, may I tell you, the man them knock it and clap it last night like nobody's business. From reports received by on the spot news media is that security personnel literally had to stay by the Trenchtown police station and could not venture into that battlefield as the brutal onslaught continues between Sunlight Street and Zimbabwe. I've covered extensively many vlogs surrounding that ongoing gang war between men aligned to the back section of Sunlight Street and the front section of Sunlight Street. We are talking about the youth of them called Philippine Yemen yeah and also his arch rival, a youth known as Jacka Diamond. Yemen, yeah may I tell you. So if you're not tuning in yet, please tune in and watch these vlogs so you can get caught up as to what is taking place in the general Sunlight Street and Zimbabwe community. So my peeps, most definitely the war has intensified. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to Wonder Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast on the Spot News Media. Yeah, man.